are currently on the way to Solbang, but we're gonna make a pit stop in Santa Barbara. What and is Colleen is driving. And so yeah, it should be a fun trip. We're both really excited and um, we're gonna do some things that we haven't done before. So it should be fun. Yep. We're for sure going to uh, where are we going? Stern's Wharf. Santa Barbara. It's like a pier from what I saw, right? I think, I think, I think it's like a pier. So I think we're, we're starting there and then we'll see where Santa Barbara takes us and then we'll head over to Solvang. And then tomorrow will be our Solvang day and then we check out on the fourth. So here we go. It's all cactus. The whole other side of that hill has cactus on it. We are on the way. Oh my god, Colleen, it's all a cactus. There's the beach, there's the ocean. Oh god, my coffee's holding on for here. My... There it is. Except the last two. <laughs> I was about to say, it's a really bouncy. <laughs> all right. It looks really weird over there. It looks, it looks like there's just a section of like dust that's just like sitting right over the ocean. Are we in like, is there a fire danger that we don't know about? So there's, I still don't know what beach this is. Would that not be a vineyard? See, I don't know. This is not mine. This is not, I know, I don't, I don't know. Those are oranges. I almost expect there to be like a light lighthouse, lighthouse over there. It's just an island. So we've officially made it to Santa Barbara. Um, we're still a little ways out from um, the Stern Wharf. Uh, I think we should be getting there soon, and then we'll get. We're gonna get out and do a little bit of sightseeing, a little bit of. So we made it to the Stearns Wharf. Um, Driving on a wooden bridge. Weird, yeah, exactly. It's so, uh, it's actually quite pretty. I didn't know we were straight up gonna be driving on <laughs> <laughs> It's a little nerve wracking, not gonna <laughs> lie. to the Stern Tour. It's really cool. We've changed up the look a little bit because <laughs> I can't see. And then there's the background. Santa Barbara. Hey little guy, where are you going? Tear it? Tear here. 
upside down or it's if you subdue yourself and return to the practice of what is right if one day you achieve self-control and return to what is right in the world will acknowledge you as the person who is best being the best must come from you yourself one cannot acquire it from others look at nothing which is contrary to what is right. Listen to nothing contrary to what is right. Speak nothing contrary to what is right. And you will do and do nothing contrary to what is right. You will then be a person at his best. What does that mean? <laughs> so this is downtown Santa Barbara. All the little shops. I believe this is called State Street. So, oh my gosh. Well. Maybe. Um, so yeah. Jeez. Scared the living you know what out of us. Solving. These roads are a little windy. Oh my. Okay, my ears are starting to pop. It's just head blown out and head low. Shop local, eat Danish pastries, ride the horse trolley. Well, we're gonna do that. Taste the wine. Check, we've already done wine. <laughs> we're gonna do another one.
Okay, what did you get? Um, some, I don't know, some blue latte drink. It's great. <laughs> it's really good. Got a mushroom tea latte. It's a, a superfood latte of some sort. Solving has been good to Colleen. But there's some Christmas presents in there too, so I feel like it's okay. You would just won't have to shop the rest of the month. But there's some good stuff in there. I also have a little bit of a thing going here as well. So I got some dandit shoes from the Copenhagen house. We got some I got some earrings. It's just been just been a trip. <laughs> Oh, well, okay, so I lied a little. There's no Christmas presents in there, people. But, um, we, there's a, there's a, there's a Yule goat. There's a Yule goat. Boy. I'm filling my drinks a little. I'm filling the wine. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, how can I flip it? So, um, yeah, so we did our tasting, second tasting, got some wine. Um got some stuff so we're getting ready to go to dinner now and we'll see how that uh, goes hopefully the restaurant this we wanted to eat at this restaurant yesterday but it was close my hair is doing some something weird it's got its own mind right now so we're just gonna forget all of this but uh, it's been a good day so we're happy Last evening in Solvay for now. Just had dinner at the Bitto Denmark and it was yummy. It was really good. So I walked back to the hotel and hang out for a little bit. So one last look out our window. We're going back to Los Angeles. It's kind of hard to see everything, but it was a fun, a fun little stay. We're kind of bummed to be leaving, but we'll be back. Okay, so we're leaving Solvang. Um, it's kind of bummed. Leaving our hotel. It was a nice hotel. It was really cute. I don't know if it probably it's time. It's probably blown out. We got some breakfast and coffee and watched some fresh Prince of Bel Air, and now we're heading home. Yeah, it's about I think a two-hour drive. And we're just gonna spend the day just chilling. <laughs> I think we both yep. are like pretty worn out, so. Yep. Okay, bye. Till next time. Goodbye, Copenhagen Street, where all the wines are. Then goodbye, Good Seed Roasters. So that's the, some of the best coffee I've ever had in my whole life. It's so small and just quiet. Although a lot these old people, man, they sure do know how to party. We're up there 
get ready to go to bed and all we can hear is singing and partying from the old people. <laughs>